Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be adding some more trees to our scene. I'm gonna use some, improve some ready-made trees and using my gigantic tweezers. Looks like mega-sized chopsticks. We'll be adding some trees in this area, maybe some smaller ones here. And also a couple of trees along this line where we see an old abandoned homestead that's seen better days. There's a lot of ready-made trees that are on the market. Here's some by JTT. And here's some by Bachman. And they're okay, but we can do a lot of things to them to help them improve their looks. So here I have a group of JTT ready-made pine trees that are straight out of the box. Some of these were on my old layout and I didn't really do anything to them. So this time around, we're going to add some more stuff to them to help improve them. And here's their deciduous trees. And you can see they need a lot of work, especially these. So we're gonna try to address that. And I'll show you what I do with them because we use two different methods. So these methods are pretty simple and anybody can do them. For the pine trees, I use a Woodland Scenic Static King grass applicator and also some of their static grass. It's better to use a two millimeter grass. I think this is actually four millimeter, but that's all I had on hand. And for the deciduous trees, we'll be adding some super leaf material from Scenic Express. And we'll address the trunks by painting them with some gray craft paint and applying some Woodland Scenic's fine soil turf to them to help improve their appearance. So let's start with this pine tree and with some small scissors, we're gonna go all bonsai on this thing. If you remember the Karate Kid, one of my favorite all time movies. And we're gonna just try to thin this stuff out where it won't look so much like clumps. So you continue to tease it and work it. Just try to remove whatever you need to make it look a little more airy. You can actually move the branches around. They're flexible. So I'm gonna continue to work at this and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, you can see I've really improved it just by trimming it out with those scissors. So now I just take some cheap hairspray. Spray the green clump part. I'm gonna do this next part over something that I can catch All right, now I'm just gonna take some gray paint and paint the tree trunk and the branch and the branches. Give it a little more realistic appearance. Something easy and simple just like this. This also, paintbrush helps take any of the 
static grass that may have ended up on the trunk. Like that. All right, with that paint still wet, I'm gonna take some of this Woodland Scenics Soil Fine Turf and I'm gonna go over that tree trunk. Try to get the branches. This will give the tree trunk some texture. It really did change the look of it. Last thing we'll do is just seal everything with a hairspray. So next up, we're gonna do the same thing with the this deciduous tree. We're gonna just kind of air it out by trimming it up. Teasing it out so you can see more of the branch structure. I'm letting all these clippings fall down into my tree bin. I can save these, make some good ground material. Some vines, you can add leaves to. This is actually another O-scale tree, which in my opinion, is better rep representation for HO scale simply because the HO scale trees are normally too small. A tree in real life at full grown is 50 to 60 feet tall, sometimes taller. Again, here we spray the leaf structure with some hairspray. And now we're going to add this super leaf from Scenic Express. And I'm just going to sprinkle them on top. Again, I've got a container that I'm keeping leftovers in so I can now we'll do the same thing with the trunk really need a thick paint for this a gesso paint would work a lot better and just tint it to a gray color. You could tell these were wire trees where they just twisted the wire. This paint is thick and it helps to cover up that twisted wire look. And get the branches you can see all right next step is add bark texture
What a huge difference that makes. And even the adding the soil to the underside of the tree like this gives it some shadows. As you can see here, I've planted the two trees into the scene and they really help to blend into the backdrop. Given that deciduous tree with a leaf structure and the pine tree with the needles, shows some texture to the scene and really helps the overall Im improve the look of everything. That, along with all the ground texture, I really like the way it turned out. So the video is getting kind of long, so I'm, I'm going to continue to add a few more trees here and there, but I hope you've enjoyed it, and this helped you and inspired you to do some more into your layout. Be sure to tune in next Sunday, have a special episode on my settings on the proto throttle. So until then, thanks for watching everybody and happy model railroading.